Good evening. As you may or may not know, we are... The management. <laughs> we manage things. And tonight, we're managing a brand new show for two very funny geezers by the names of... Hale and Hale. Hale and Pace. Well, that's only one funny geezer then, isn't it? <laughs> Come on, show Willie. You show me yours first. <laughs> when we first thought of the idea for this show, we came to LWT. Limp wrist television. <laughs> and we went straight to the top man. Cos we don't bother with no underlings. I do. I wear boxer shorts. <laughs> so we went to the top man and we told him we want a very large budget. Yeah, call Joey with blue feathers. <laughs> He's got his own cage and a ladder with a bell at the top one goes ding a ling a ling. <laughs> so he gave us the show. As long as we promised not to go over the top. As long as we promised not to spend too much money. So we promised, didn't we, Ron? Yeah, we promised. But we lied. <laughs> I just don't hold with these chicks who say that a guy's wheels are an extension of his penis. No way! Thanks very much indeed. Uh, tonight's show is very special. It's got a special theme. It's based on the theme of world peace. Peace to all nations. Yeah. <laughs> May the dove of peace fly around this world bringing harmony and understanding to all nations. Peace to all nations, except to Russia. <laughs> <laughs> the communists, aren't they? Peace to all nations, except Russia. And Argentina. <laughs> they beat us at football. Everybody beats us at football. <laughs> I don't care. OK. Right. Peace to all nations, except Russia and Argentina. And France. <laughs> France. They've always hated us, the French, you know. Huh? Yeah. Bastards. <laughs> Right, peace to all nations except Russia, Argentina, and France. Let us and unite. Japan. <laughs> Japan. Gareth, they eat raw fish. Mm. <laughs> mm. Okay, right. Peace to all nations except Russia, Argentina, France, France, and Japan. And Japan. And the Isle of Wight. <laughs> What do you mean the Isle of Wight? You ever had a holiday in the Isle of Wight? <laughs> and the Isle of Wight. Here, Ron. They're tittering. I don't like tittering. I don't like any coastal towns. <laughs> I uh, thank you for allowing me to see you on this, the day of your daughter's wedding. I do have a daughter, a beautiful daughter, a 
daughter who makes her family proud. <laughs> Last night, two men. They attacked her. They dragged her screaming into an alley where they defiled her innocent young body. They beat her. They raped her like vicious animals. Please, you must give me justice. Justice? Why do you come on me, not the police? It was the police who raped her. <laughs> Fifteen years ago, I offered you my hand in friendship. Now once in 15 years you come to my house, you show me no respect. But not once do you call me Godfather. Not once do you attend a meeting of the families. Not once do you collect protection money. Not once in 15 years do you cut off a horse's head and stick it in somebody's bed. <laughs> not once do you go out a traitor and send this family a large fish. <laughs> not once in 15 years you assassinate President Kennedy in Dallas. <laughs> now, you ask for my friendship. I have been a fool. All of these things I shall do, Godfather, for your friendship. I will join the family. Welcome to the CIA. <laughs> It's all right, it's all right, so the lights are off, there's no problem, we'll carry on, OK? Uh, look, I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, but um, we've had a bit of a power cut in the studio, haven't we, Gareth? That's right, yeah. <laughs> but uh, being the true professionals that we are, we're going to carry on with the show anyway. Yup. <laughs> so if you just give us a couple of seconds, we'll sort everything out. Hey. What? <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. It's not going to be much fun doing this show in the dark, is it? It'll be OK. Don't worry. I am worried about don't it. Don't worry. I'm worried. Everything's all right, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> OK? 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, that's okay. Right. Um, I've, I've got a message here. Where? It's, it's here. Here. Oh, right. Okay. Right. Uh, I got it from our floor manager. Uh, that's me. <laughs> Get off if you haven't already. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So What's the message, anyway? Yeah, What's the message? Well, What's yeah, the message? Right, uh, well, the message is, my batteries have run out. <laughs> Mine's all right. Yeah, so is mine. I was only joking. <laughs> Dawn in the city. A melting pot of debris. A concrete jungle of trash, junk, garbage and Australian tourists. <laughs> The city is a bubbling cesspit of squalor and filth. And that's why we thank God for the dustman. As the city sleeps in early dawn slumber, they perform their thankless task swiftly and silently. And risking life and limb against vicious lurking predators. In their never ending pursuit of productivity bonus, nothing but nothing gets in their way. The dust men have a creed. If it's there, shift it. These men have a mission, to clean up the streets and make them safe for ordinary citizens. <laughs> they know these streets, and when a big job stains their patch, they are the guys who can handle it. They are the privatized duck men. Yes, deciding what to give them is always a problem, isn't it? But wait, just when you thought we couldn't do anything else with a chicken, Foul Foods bring you chicken heads. Keep your family a happy family with new chicken heads. Mmm, they're munchy. Mmm, they're crunchy. Mmm, they're chicken heads. Foul Foods. Run. Now they're cackling. I don't like cackling. I don't like any kind of pork. <laughs> Hello. It's me, Johnny. Remember? The one with the jolly jumper. I wonder where Billy is today. Is he in the kitchen baking a cake? <laughs> is he in the lounge? Making a model? <laughs> no. Today, Billy's in the bedroom making a baby. <laughs> we know a song about that, don't we? You put your whole self in, your whole self out. <laughs> Today, Billy's making a baby with my wife, Jenny. Hello, Johnny. Hello, Jenny. Hello, Jenny. Hello, Billy. Hello, Willie. Hello, Johnny. How many people are there in the bed? Shall we count them? One, two, three people. Troilism. That's a very long word, isn't it? We know a song about that, don't we? There, there were three in the bed, bed and the little one said, Mmm. <laughs> we're going to carry on making a baby now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. It takes a long time to make a baby, doesn't it? <laughs> so here's one we made earlier. Readings from my latest anthology. Don't be a square, be a rhombus. 
by groovy word The rhythm of the Congo is coming from my bongo. Forgotten how the song go. De dum, de dum, de dum. Yeah, it's a good question, that, as it goes, yeah. I think, you know, speaking for myself, like, as far as I'm concerned, personally, like, for myself, I think the answer is, yeah. I think I would rather be Rick Astley, yeah. <laughs> How do you do? And a jolly fine and hearty welcome to this new panel game which tests one's knowledge of etiquette. And on the panel tonight, Lady Melchester. How do you do? The Marquis of Rochford. How do you do? And Lord Fathersham Smythe. Hello. Pinkies on the handbells. <laughs> First question. <clears throat> You're attending a cocktail evening, and quite accidentally, the hostess, the Duchess of Partick, needs you in the groin. <laughs> what is your proper form of address? Ooh, uh, thank you, your ladyship. Mm, no, no, sorry, I'm going to have to throw that one open. You say, mind my bollocks, you clumsy old car. <laughs> Bad luck, very, very close indeed. In fact, the correct response is, mind my bollocks, your grace, you clumsy great cow. <laughs> Unlucky there. No scores, unfortunately. And on to round two. <clears throat> You're spending a weekend with the Baron at the Krulvella. You chance upon him being spanked by a prostitute. He is wearing a large baby's nappy and has three herring inserted in various orifices. <laughs> what is the correct form of behavior? You say, excuse me, sir, I sincerely hope those herrings aren't being served for breakfast tomorrow. <laughs> bad luck again. The plural of herring is, of course, herring. A common error there, bad luck. And the final question of this round. <clears throat> At dinner, you take an amontillado as an aperitif, a hock with the hors d'oeuvre, a 67 mouton carré with the entree, a glass of Chateau Echem with a pudding, port with a stilton, followed by a Zambuca with a coffee and, with the cigars, a five-star cognac. What colour is your vomit? <laughs> Lady Melchester. Green. No, sorry, sorry. Anybody? Uh, is it the same colour as the Plymouth Argyle away strip? <laughs> Excellent. Cute colour. Well done. Two points. <laughs> Some slutherners. They've taken our industry. They've taken our jobs. They've taken our best brains and they've taken our ideas. But there's one thing they'll never take from us. That's our sense of humour. <laughs> <laughs>
applause. I don't like applause. I do. <laughs> OK. okay. Uh, there's a lot of uh, controversy, or even controversy at the moment, about uh, bad taste on television. But of all the things you can do on British TV, swearing, sex violence, nothing causes more of an uproar, nothing causes more anger than being cruel to animals. Isn't that right, Gareth? Yeah, that's absolutely right. Um, especially if you take a lovely, lovely furry little kitten like this and... They know, don't they? They know. <laughs> Seriously, though, we, we wouldn't uh, we wouldn't do anything like that, would we, Gary? No. Certainly not. <laughs> I mean, we like to experiment with comedy, but uh, even we wouldn't microwave a cat live on national television. <laughs> we certainly wouldn't. So. Here's one we did earlier. <laughs>